Hi everyone, my name is Holly Burns and I am an Ambassador Girl Scout here in Hopkinton, as well as a rising senior and a student athlete. I am making this video to bring awareness to the importance of anaphylaxis and allergies. With some of my family and friends having anaphylaxis, it has always been very important for me to bring awareness to others and encourage education on the topic. Being a student athlete myself, I am aware of how easy it is to forget a piece of equipment to practice or game. However, that piece of equipment is even more important when it can be the difference between life and death in an emergency. This piece of equipment is an EpiPen. An EpiPen is used when someone is having an anaphylactic reaction to an allergen. The EpiPen contains epinephrine, which is also known as adrenaline. The epinephrine works to help ease airways and reduce hives and swelling during an anaphylactic reaction. Once an anaphylactic reaction occurs, it is very important for 911 to be called and an EpiPen to be administered. So what is anaphylaxis? Anaphylaxis is a severe, potentially life-threatening allergic reaction. Many people know that they have anaphylaxis and what their allergens are, but some don't. Sometimes an anaphylactic reaction can occur to a new allergen, in which case it is always important to carry your EpiPen if you're aware of your allergy or to know where the closest EpiPen will be in case of an emergency. It is also important to try and stay clear of some common allergens when you are in a setting where you know someone with an allergy or where somebody could have an allergy. The top three most common allergens are usually peanuts, tree nuts, and shellfish. However, there are many more allergens, and I recommend reading about them on EpiPen.com or AviQ. You can also learn how to administer an EpiPen on these sites, but I recommend finding and taking a CPR first aid certification course, where you will learn how to properly administer the EpiPen and be certified in using one. If you have any other questions about anaphylaxis and allergies, I recommend looking at EpiPen or AviQ, or reach out to your doctor. A few minutes educating yourself on the topic is the first step in reducing the risk of a reaction, and every second counts. Thank you for watching.